Good morning, boys and girls. I am so happy to be with you again this morning and welcome back to Beginnings Chapel. We are gonna sing some fun songs this morning and then we're going to listen to a chapel message. We're gonna start off with a prayer. Would you bow your heads with me? Dear God, thank you so much for helping us all be together this morning through technology. We love you and we're so grateful that even though we're not in school together, we can still worship together. Please help this time to be a great time of worship for us. And we are just so thankful for all the things that you have blessed us with. Amen.
Door. What would we need to do? Oh, Dick said maybe we could try using the door knock. Yeah, we could do that. What else? We could try using the doorbell. That's right. Or oh, there's another way to get in. We might have to open the door. What do you think we might need to get in the door? Boys and girls, what do you think we might need to get in? Okay. We might need a key, right? I know. We probably would need a key in order to get in the door. We don't have access to the inside of that house. That's right, only somebody who has the key would have access. Or maybe if we knocked on the door or rang the doorbell, maybe somebody could let us in. That reminds you of something? What does that remind you of? <laughs> oh, we need to check your heart. All right, we'll see, let's check your heart. Let's check. Boys and girls, I don't have a helper with me to check Diggs's heart. I get to do it this time. It's my turn. Let's see what's in Diggs's heart. Diggs, you sure have a big, big heart. I just love it. Let's see. Diggs is going to help me check his heart. Let's put his heart back. Put your heart back in there. Oh, Diggs, it's such a pretty day. Diggs, you got a paper. Let's check out this paper. Let's see what it is. Diggs, it's a picture. Diggs, did you make this picture? You did. What was that? Oh, this reminds you of the door. You were at the art museum. Uh-huh. Why did you go to the art museum? Diggs went to the art museum because he was trying to get a meeting with the manager of the art museum. But you couldn't get in. Why couldn't he get in? That's right. The art museum is all closed up. Were you going about this artwork you did here? You did some artwork? I love it. This is this is my house? Hmm. I don't know, boys and girls. What do you think? Diggs made a picture of my house. You think it looks like my house? You don't think so? <gasps> Diggs says he thinks his picture has a couple of mistakes in it. Help me see if you can find the mistakes. Oh, Diggs says we'll play a game together and we'll find the mistakes in his picture. Well, he drew a house and he's got a door. Does the house have a door on it? Good job. And the house has a window. That's right. And the house has a, a roof. <laughs> Diggs, you put the roof on the ground. Where's the roof supposed to go, boys and girls? It's supposed to go on the top. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Oh, Diggs says there's another mistake. Can you find it, boys and girls? Look at the sun. I like your yellow sun. It's nice and bright, like the sunshine today. Whoop! It's a bright one up there. But when I look at the sun, it's round. And Diggs, what shape is Diggs's? Diggs made a square sun. Boys and girls, wouldn't that be funny if our sun was square? Oh, Diggs, I've seen some friends out today riding their bikes since it's such a pretty day. So, do we ride our bike down here on the grass or up there on the sun? <laughs> Diggs, you put the bike ride on the sun. We can't ride up in the sky, can we? Diggs said he had fun making a, a mistakes picture. Maybe you guys can do that today. Maybe you can sit down and make a picture with some mistakes on it and see if your family can guess what was went wrong in the picture. That was fun, Diggs. Thanks for that game. 
You don't think this picture would go in the art museum? No. Did you really want to talk to the art director about putting your work in the museum? Did you really want to talk to the art director? But you couldn't talk to him? Oh, wow. Enjoying our walk around the neighborhood and talking more about that silly picture and talking about the art museum. Diggs went to the art museum not too long ago and he really wanted to talk to the, the manager of the art museum. You couldn't talk to him. What, the manager's really busy. Why do you want to talk to the manager? He had a lot of questions. He wanted to know, how does how do they choose the artwork? Do they ever see any mistakes in any of the artwork? <laughs> Probably not like in your silly picture. And, and, and where does the artwork come from? Those are some good questions, but you don't have to ask the manager. You can ask some other people who work there. The manager is very, very busy. And, and he doesn't get to talk to everybody that comes to visit, can't always see the person who's in charge. We don't, we don't always get to talk to people that way. That's right, Diggs. Sometimes people are just too busy, they have too much to do, and they might not have time for us. You know, Diggs, I like it when I have time to talk to you. Thanks. And I like talking to the boys and girls, too. And I like when they can talk to me. But you know, one thing I'm glad, I'm glad that God is never too busy to hear me. I'm glad that God always cares what's on my mind and what's on your mind, and, and he's never too busy to talk to us. And we don't have to knock or ring a doorbell, and we don't have to get an appointment, and we don't have to wonder if he's too busy, because he always has time for us, and he can always talk to us, no matter what. You know, praying is talking to God. Praying is listening to God, too. You like to pray, Diggs? I do, too. When I pray, I praise God and talk, talk to him about how I think it's great that he's so wonderful and he loves me so much. Oh, and I confess, too. Diggs said he confessed that he ran through. He ran through Mrs. Telfer's garden. Yeah, you ran through the flower bed. Mom told you not to. So he told Mom and he told God he was sorry. That's right. And you know, when I pray, Diggs, I can also thank God. Diggs says he likes to thank God for his house and his friends and his family and the games he played today and how pretty the weather is today. That's right. And you know what? When I pray, Diggs, I ask God for help. Diggs asked God to help him get his work done. And Diggs asked God to help him when he was afraid. You know what? We also have to listen. Listening is, we can listen to God when we listen to the Bible. And when we know about our Bible and we listen to our stories in the Bible, then we know what God has to say and God can help us to make right choices. God can help us to do and to know what is right. You know what I love most about being able to talk to God, Diggs? I don't have to knock on the door and I don't have to have a key. And I'm full, full, full of mistakes. And you are too, and the boys and girls are too. Sometimes we make mistakes and we do things wrong. It's called sin. And God knows about that and he loves us anyway. And he always wants to hear from us. And we can talk to him any time we want. We can talk to him anywhere we want. And we can talk to him about anything we want. The Bible tells us in Psalms 4, 3, that God hears us when we pray. Psalms 4, verse 3 tells me that God wants to hear from me. And I don't need an appointment. I can talk to him anytime I want. God is so good, Diggs. That's right. You gonna go home and get some chores done? Okay, let's go.